Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we've never met before, my name is Chelsea and I make new videos weekly on fashion, beauty, and travel. Today's video is going to be an empties video, specifically the body care and hair care I've used up recently. These videos tend to be kind of long, so I'm gonna speed through this. There are some repeat offenders and some new to me products. So if you'd like to see what I've recently used up, go ahead and keep watching. My hair is freshly washed. I have only been washing it like once a week lately. Um, if you wanna see why, go check out my surgery update video. I have a newfound appreciation for washing my hair. I can't stop touching how soft my my hair is at the moment and it's partially thanks to these products. These first two products are by Esalon. This is their moisture shampoo and their universal leave-in treatment. My last hair color was by Esalon. I dyed it this beautiful chocolatey cherry brown. Love it so much and the products are super easy to use. Esalon are truly the masters at at-home custom hair color but they have amazing styling products too. So the moisture shampoo, great. Definitely a moisturizing formula. Lathers up like a dream and really feels like a salon quality product. Same thing for the leave-in. This is the universal leave-in conditioner. It detangles, hydrates, and fight frizz. Love the formula of this. My hair drank it up. I would apply this on my damp hair and then put it up in my aqueous turban, which I also love. Not an empty, but something I use every single time I wash my hair. Didn't add any gunk or build up. It didn't weigh my hair down and just is an all around lovely product. Definitely would get both of these again. I used up the Lotus RX conditioner. This is a sulfate free scalp relief formula. Now this line is all about fighting dandruff. I was actually surprised with how nourishing the conditioner was. Really like the conditioner, but I love the shampoo even more. I just finished this up today. This is the Wow Skin Science 10 in 1 Miracle Hair Revitalizer. It's kind of got the same vibe as It's a 10, but this is more of like an oily spray, not so much a leave in conditioner spray like It's a 10. Love the scent of it. It's kind of like a fruity green apple scent. Used it today, of course, and you can see how smooth and silky my hair is. You can get this brand on Amazon and I think on Walmart, so I will link it, of course, down below. I did a collab with that brand a long time ago, so. Love the product still, but this video is not sponsored. Okay, let's move into some body care. I used up the Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Love this. This is the almond scent and definitely would repurchase. I'm using the peppermint one right now. Next up is Sea Calm Skin. This is their Daily Rebalance body wash and shampoo. I actually just did a video featuring this product in my cruelty-free eczema skincare favorite. So definitely go watch that video if you have sensitive skin. This is super invigorating and minty cool in the shower. It definitely helps soothe like agitated, dry, eczema-prone skins. And that is another brand that's now available on Amazon. I used up this from First Aid Beauty. This is their Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. It's safe for sensitive skin. So it says KP on it. That stands for Keratosis Polaris, I believe. You guys know that chicken skin condition that a lot of people get on the backs of their arms. Well, this is like a medium intensity exfoliant. You could use it every single day, but it does have pieces of pumice in it. I love this because you can really control how intense you want the scrub to be. You can apply a little bit of pressure in the shower or a lot of pressure depending on what kind of scrub experience you want. So absolutely love this. First Aid Beauty is one of my favorite skincare brands. I love to recommend them and they are cruelty free, easy to find at Sephora and Ulta, and this is definitely a stand-up product of theirs. I'm gonna do a video soon all about CBD beauty products, but this is the absolute standout. I have a blog post featuring this that I'll link down below. This is the Kush Queen Nourishing Bath Bomb. Now this is a bath bomb that has 1,000 milligrams of CBD in it. It's broad spectrum, hemp derived. You can buy this online, it's not gonna get you high. This is special because of the 1,000 milligrams this contains. So this is like a heavy duty dose. It has a very earthy, woodsy scent to it. It has organic clove, birch, rosemary, black pepper, and coriander essential oils. It definitely will stay in your bath, so make sure you like wipe down the tub after you're done. It leaves behind like a blacky brown kind of residue. This is a pricey product. It's $60 for a single bath bomb, so you wanna make sure you stay in there a while. It's definitely for a special occasion. I was reading the press release on this product and it explained the bath experience being somewhat like, you know, having a deep tissue massage. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I tried it and 100% after I had this bath, I totally know what they meant because I felt so relaxed, so relieved. It was amazing. So definitely an occasional treat, $60 is pricey, but they're occasionally running promo codes for this product. And it's a small business that you can support during this time that we're all at home. We're spending more time taking care of ourselves. Really, really nice bath product. Something I wanted to recommend and I'm gonna save this box for my CBD beauty video coming soon. I have two eczema products from Aveeno. These I didn't quite finish up, but they have expired on me. I knew it was time to let this one go when it started to smell because it's fragrance free. So when it starts to develop a new scent, I know it's time. It's gotta go. I love both of these products, so there's nothing wrong with them. They just expired on me. This one expired in August of 2018, and this one expired in May of 2019. So the Eczema Therapy Itch Relief Balm. This is a very, very thick, occlusive, 
almost like a balmy Vaseline type texture. You get a huge tub of it, and I love applying this before bed. It's way too heavy for the daytime, however. If you wanna do like a foot or hand treatment where you like slather this on, maybe put some gloves or socks on, it's great for like a little 20 minute intensive thing. So I use this one most often right before bed. The Eczema Therapy Moisturizing Cream is a little bit of a lighter texture. Again, 1% colloidal oatmeal based. Definitely great if you have eczema, but you could use this, of course, if you have sensitive skin, you don't really need to have eczema to use this. Uh, there's nothing super medicated in it. It's just colloidal oatmeal. This one does have a heavier dimethicone feel to it. This one's a little bit lighter, but still really, really rich and nourishing. This is the go-to skincare, super handy hand and nail cream. Really enjoyed using this up. This is a really fun, no frill skincare brand out of Australia. They use a lot of natural ingredients, has a sweet, fruity gourmand kind of scent to it, really enjoyed it. But at this moment in time when my hands are super duper dry, I'm reaching for unscented hand creams more often, things with no essential oils in them whatsoever because even essential oils, even though they're not labeled as fragrance, essential oils can be irritating to people with sensitive skin. And I have super sensitive skin, so right now I'm using the Skin Fix Eczema Hand Cream, which I love. This is a great hand cream option if you don't have sensitivity. And it's just like fun packaging and stuff like that. And it's a great size for your handbag. So was a fan of this. Is it my all-time favorite hand cream? No, but definitely wanted to point this one out. Check out uh, Go To. You can find them online at Sephora. This is another product I'm decluttering. Um, this has just been in my cabinet way too long. This is Alafia deodorant. I bought this at Whole Foods a long time ago when I was out of natural deodorant and I was looking for something that didn't contain a ton of baking soda. So many natural deodorants have baking soda as the first ingredient. So many of the natural deodorants give me that pit rash, so I try to avoid baking soda on the one hand. And then on the other hand, so many of them contain carrageenan, which I'm allergic to. So I have a hard time with natural deodorants. And then finally, so few of the natural deodorants out there work. So I'm constantly trying new ones. But this one uh, intrigued me because it is coconut based. This is their charcoal, reishi, and shea refreshing coconut deodorant. So the first ingredient is glycerin, second ingredient is water, coconut extract is the fourth ingredient. It actually smells amazing. It smells like a sweet, earthy coconut treat. No animal testing, no silicone, no synthetic fragrance, all that good stuff. My problem with this is it just didn't work. With a lot of the natural deodorants, they don't really have that slip factor. You really need to like put it on your skin and wait for it to warm up and then you can glide it. This one has the coconut oil in it, so it does glide on the skin, but just didn't work. I'd find myself having to reapply this within the hour of first applying it. So that's not really practical for most people gonna be decluttering that. I much prefer Schmidt's natural deodorant. Their sensitive skin formula is my favorite. So gonna be tossing that out. And the last empty is this. This is the antibacterial germicidal topical cleanser. This is by the brand Pacific Piercing Supply. And I get this. Um, it's specifically made for Zebra, which is the tattoo and piercing studio I go to in Berkeley. That's where I got all my piercings. Like I haven't had a piercing in like 15 years, but I have tons of ear piercings. I have my belly button pierced. I'm not wearing any jewelry in that at the moment. I use this to clean my piercings. Still after all these years, I think it's really important to clean your piercings because you can kind of get gunk build up and bacteria. You don't want to be having that. And recently for my surgery, I took out all my piercings and jewelry. So I made sure to deep clean my jewelry with this solution and I totally used it up. So, I mean, you can get a similar kind of solution at any piercing studio. So I think it's really important. Definitely gonna buy another bottle at some point. I might try and find something similar on Amazon to link down below. All right, friends, that is a wrap for my recent empties, everything I've used up for my body, for my hair. If you'd like to get more information on anything I mentioned today, all the links will be down in the description box below. If you have any questions or video requests, please leave me a comment. Thank you again for watching. Please hit the video with a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe down below, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.